Matt Goss is loving life on Strictly Come Dancing, despite being given some of the lowest scores yet by Judge Craig Revel Horwood. Last week saw the former brothers start tear up after his Top Gun themed Viennese waltz to hold my hand from Top Gun, which he dedicated to his late grandparents. Matt, 54, said he was in awe of their love story. Speaking on Strictly spin-off, it takes two, he said, my granddad was a gunner in the Second World War, so for me I've just connected to my granddad and the love of his life, my Nana Wynn. Before he died he said, I'm gonna to go see Wynn. So I'm just gonna channel that love affair between my granddad and my Nana. It's an emotional dance, and I feel very connected to it already. I'm gonna do it for my gramps. Matt recently tried to strike out and find a love of his own, but it ended in a toe-curling disaster. The desperate singer, who previously dated Melanie Sykes, Martine McCutcheon and Rebecca Ferguson, decided to sign up for online dating in a bid to find someone special. But his efforts were short-lived when the website kicked him off amid accusations of catfishing. I got kicked off because they said, we don't think Matt Goss would appreciate you imitating him, he told BBC Radio 5. I was too embarrassed to say, no, it's me, it's actually me. I can show you my stats, you know, a naked picture, anything you need. I didn't have the guts to go, I'm kind of desperate, I'm trying to find someone here. The year before, Matt admitted he very much wanted to meet a partner, explaining how he longed for intimacy and felt more virile than ever but had lost his mojo after the breakdown of a relationship. I want an active love life, I love to make love. But after my last relationship, physicality was tough for me. I was worried about getting hurt, he told OK! Magazine. Now I love sex for the first time in a long while. I don't sleep around but if I'm lucky enough to have sex, then I'm very grateful. It's nice to have that desire back and to wake up in the morning and feel the urge. He added, I feel more virile than ever and absurdly youthful. I still attract women in their 20s. It appears that all's well that ends well though as Matt was recently linked to jewelry designer Chantal Brown, who was previously married to EastEnders actor Paul Nichols. The pair were spotted dining at Scott's Seafood Restaurant in Mayfair, and he praised her for being funny and not obsessed with social media in any way. Scottish model Chantal, who was signed to Kate Moss Agency and starred in adverts for Royal of Olay and Cornetto, married Paul in 2008. I don't even look at other women now, he gushed of his bride. She's my soulmate. They are believed to have separated in 2015. Who do you think could win Strictly this year? Have your say in the comments section below. Read more Strictly Come Dancing 2022 Strictly 2022 Couples in full How much Strictly pros and celebs earn signs of backstage rift between judges trouble ahead for pair, fans predict.